It's what she decided to do with that pain that is changing lives and ultimately saving other innocent people. He saw all the blood coming from her head, eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. And then the doctor came in and told us they were working on her. And then the next thing I remember is him coming in and telling me that they couldn't save her. Uh, I don't want anybody else to hurt like this. It's happening 24 hours a day. You know, a lot of people just don't want, they don't want to leave their cars at the bar. Um, so they make, the, they make that decision to, to go out and drink and drive. I will never get over the loss of my daughter or the loss of my nephew. So Pam is trying to stop more people from dying at the hands of a drunk driver. I have never worked with a volunteer that puts as many hours in for a cause. Children grieve people who have been arrested, convicted, and sentenced to probation are court ordered to attend a victim impact panel where I get up, tell my story, and share my videos of my, the loss of my daughter and my nephew. Last night I had a crazy They're actually getting to see my daughter from birth to the day she died and they get to see the vehicle that she died in and they get to see her face on her gravestone. It's kind of like a therapy for her. I've had people who have actually sent emails to MAD in hopes that they get to me thanking me for what I do. For sharing what cuts her so deeply, for saving me from the turmoil of being a murderer. There is a pain in my heart that recognizes my selfishness, my disregard. Those were my children I saw on her video. Only I get to come home and hug my children and look into their eyes and tell them how much I love them. So many people have been touched by what you guys have gone through. Pam, on behalf of Community Health Network and Fox 59, thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on being the November Community Mom. Hero of the Month. <laughs> I've never done any of this to get an award. I've always done it just to try to make people aware of the consequences yeah. of drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. And as you can see there, Pam was genuinely touched. Now, you may remember the story of her nephew, Jesse Sperry. You're looking at that crash. At the last second, Jesse put himself between the steering wheel and his pregnant wife's belly. That act saved her and their unborn baby. And there's Rebecca and baby Autumn. They were there when we honored Pam. We also gave Rebecca a special Community Hero Award, naming Jesse in honor of his sacrifice that he paid to save his family. So that was a special moment. They have opened their hearts to let people yeah. know about uh, the, the importance of making sure we drive uh, soberly and safely. As we head into the holiday season especially, it's a vivid reminder for all of us not to drive impaired. A national day of remembrance to honor the lives affected by impaired driving. Thursday, December 3rd, they'll have a candlelight vigil at the state yeah. capitol building to remind people of just how important yeah. it is to get that message across. And like we said, they are now truly opening themselves they up are. to let people know about the pain that they've suffered. And you know, as you look at that video, you saw her gravestone, her daughter's yeah. gravestone. It has a poem that her daughter wrote. Her daughter wrote that poem the morning she was killed wow. by that drunk driver. And it talks about her always being there and always being yeah. a guardian angel. So it's a special poem which yeah. carries a deep meaning. There are no words. Finch, yeah. and thank you no so words. much. Inspiring, inspiring stuff to, to all of us to yeah. learn a lesson from what happened there. Absolutely. Well, we're going to look outside right now and talk about our forecast today as we saw uh, some rain earlier. Yeah. But